guys, it's Zeev Joshi again with a new video tutorial in Java programming language. So today we're gonna learn about is alive and join methods, which are defined inside the threads class in Java. Okay, so let's start. So basically, is alive is a boolean method, while join is a void method, which are sorry, a join method throws an interrupted exception if it's interrupted. But uh, you will occasionally get around this, but we need to handle it. Okay, so. Uh, let's check out what is the role of is alive and join. Basically, we know the role of is alive. Okay, we have just used it plenty of times. Run method inside the try to explore. Yeah, it is very much essential to just keep this try catch uh, as if you are using the sleep method, which throws interrupted exception as well. For anti i equals zero, i is less than five, i plus plus. System to out of print seven, and we are just printing i. That's it. And we are making a thread to sleep for around just five hundred milliseconds. That's it. No worries at all. Now another class, class thread two, which again implements variable interface. Which again overrides the run method, okay, and try catch and okay. In the first class, we just forgot this system the out of print seven line. Just let's just copy and paste this right here, and do the same thing. Just copy this loop. So that's it. That's make our work really easy. So let's just keep it really simple right there. Plus R. So we can differentiate it. Okay. So let's create the object. Now thread T. Sorry, thread A equal equal to new thread. Okay. And thread T equal to new thread having A, which is the runnable object. Now we got to start and let's just run it out. Zero, one, two, and three, four. Okay, thank you. So this is all about we know the stuff. Now let's print if it's still alive. We got is alive. Sorry, alive. True. Okay, we need to wait for it. Now, uh, this is the really simple meaning of is allowed that it tells us it's a boolean actually. It tells us that the method, uh, sorry, the invoking thread is still alive or not. But the main point is of join method. Now, let's just look at the join method and let's create, sorry, a join method calls an interrupted exception as I talked earlier. So we need to put it inside a try catch block. Okay. Okay. Plus e. Okay. Now let's create another object of the second class. Okay. And another thread t two new thread having b. Okay. And now let's just run it. So let's check out what happens actually using the join method okay that's one it's true one two three and four one zero one two three four okay so basically what happened that this thread before starting let's just remove this this thread that is a t2 thread before starting waits for the t thread to get over it's really simple the join method allows the operation which are to be completed after the first thread or the invoking thread is okay what you say is over okay uh, we have many kind of use of this method uh, let's talk about gaming for some time uh, imagine yourself you are playing a, a multiplayer game okay FPS game multiplayer game in which there are many kinds of threads working for a single user as if the course uh, sorry 
scored threat, skill kill streak threat, while the uh, what you say enemies threat. Okay, another kind of IP address threat which sends our IP address to the main server. Okay, so this kind of threats are just running behind it. Okay, now what happens when you just quit the game? The game wants to save your career or your some multiplayer career because uh, you just worked hard to achieve some sort of new guns and new kind of objects and variants and grenades and perks etc etc so it's the game wants to save the uh, sorry the game wants to save all the data so all this thread must be closed first so that the game can quit so this is where the join method comes in in its picture okay it it determines that the thread is okay over and then only then this call is executed if you just don't do it right here you can simply write t is over let's check out if it really works 0 1 2 3 and 4 and t is over that's it so that's it for today so we just learned about the join and is a line method where you'll be never using is a line i guess the join is really really important for us so that's it for today I believe that you enjoyed my tutorial so share it to the maximum so that everyone can learn Java and please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can learn Java on a regular basis. Okay, so thank you and have a nice day.